Hi, I'm Rob Brock from Upstream Ag, and we have here today a Whirlpool brand washing machine. It's model number WTW5000DW, and you can find this guy at most of the big box stores. We're going to grab control of the motor using this universal motor controller box. So this thing is kind of a cheater box here for washer conversions. All we're going to really need to do is get underneath the motor and plug it in, and uh, this thing will start spinning. And this is going to work with most modern washers uh, that are Whirlpool brand like Kenmore and Amana. I happen to like this particular model because it has a stainless bin and there's no agitator or other mechanism in the middle that you have to pull out and clean up. So this thing will be pretty much ready to go. In order to get the control panel and the lid and the top of the machine off, we have to take one two and three bolts off the back and this will just pop right off. Take some heavy snips and cut through these guys. We're going to take this hose connector part here out. That's also a quarter inch tech screw and we'll just kind of loosen it and push it in there. I'm going to trim these down a little bit, make it look neater. They're not poking up so much. Yeah. All right, quarter inch drive. And then this should kind of. From our control box, we have two wires. There's the plug there, and here is the end that goes to the motor. So we're going to take the business end of this one and feed it through the back here or we just uh, pop the hole open. And then we'll tip this back over <clears throat> and yank it on through. These are the two most important components of the washer. We have the motor here, and that's driving the main spindle in this pulley system here on a belt. And this is the capacitor. We'll use some channel locks to get this hose clamp off. that and once this is loose this should pull right off and that will be the drainage we have one two three four cable tie anchor spots here and these these cable ties are holding the loom up into the frame of the machine and we're going to kind of go down one by one and get the original wiring out of here and i'm going to cut this cable tie with an exacto knife that'll come loose. And then as you start to get the wiring loose, you can unplug it from the motor and from the capacitor. And just kind of keep, uh, this is all the original wiring. Unplug everything as you go and uh, Use an exact knife to cut those cable ties. And there you go, it's all starting to come loose. And down here we'll unplug the pump. And then right down in here, there's one last spot. And we'll cut this last cable tie that's right behind the pump. Okay. Here's all the original wiring that came with the machine. And just to clean things up, I'm gonna make sure that I'm cutting the wiring that came with the washer. We won't need any of this anymore. And go ahead and just Snip it all off. Now here's the wire that comes with the motor controller. And all we're going to need to do is go one up into the motor. And then you have two pins here for the capacitor. Depending on which way you plug them in, you can make the drum spin in opposite directions. So we'll just kind of plug these in here and um, find out which way we have.
And at this point, you can plug it in and that would control the motor and get it spinning. But I think what we'll do is try to reuse some of these cable tie anchor points. And we have some of these here. So we'll just kind of poke them, get these pulled out, hook in our new cable tie anchors and zip tie this thing in so it doesn't uh, just hang here loose. We're sort of the channel locks. There's one. Two. Cable tie anchor. And then like that. It goes in like that. And then we can use a zip tie. And just come through and fasten it back in like that. Put the tip it back over and we can pull the slack out and we'll plug it in and see if it works. We'll use some self-drilling uh, tech screws to mount our control box into the sheet metal. And you'll need a, I think this is a 5 16 driver. And this is an impact driver. Should be pretty easy to just kind of drill those right in there into the front and mount this guy. And now that we're all mounted up, all we have left to do is plug it in. And let's see if it works.